Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Poison Akami here, me, myself and I, back at it again with another video. And today is going to be a character guide for Rock Lee, the Shippuden Rock Lee, that is. So, Rock Lee, I think this will be a very short guide because he's a very short and simple character in terms of how in-depth he is. He can be used on a good competitive level, however, uh, yeah, there isn't like a lot to him. As he's basically a taijutsu-based character, you mainly find yourself doing taijutsu-based things. Um... I've actually got the game started in 30 FPS, which is why it looks so choppy at the moment, it's because um, I need to show that actually his tilt doesn't work in 60 FPS. No matter how much I try, his tilt doesn't work in 60 FPS, so this is another reason why I'm an advocate for 30 FPS play than 60. His tilt still doesn't connect in 60. And CC2, I'm pretty sure he fixed it so it connects, but only for 30 and not 60 FPS. I will demonstrate this now. As you can see, the tilt connects. Now, as this is a character guide, I will go into what you can do with that tilt. However, uh, let's see. So he's got a very good item set. He's got two defense down tags, two paper bombs, and two speed up pills. So I'm not a very bad character to have on the start of the team. If you want to team up with characters like Eno and Shikamaru, both got a very bad item set, in my opinion. I would always put Lee first for the defense down tags and the paper bombs. So when building your team, Lee is always a good option. But if you're looking for attack buffs, maybe don't put Lee at the top. Alrighty, so yeah, let's go into more of his tilts and about it. So I'll definitely demonstrate his tilt for you and what the properties of it because uh, I need to get this out of the way as I'd like as I'd rather like showcase in 60 because just the game just looks nice in 60. 60 is good for visual representation, um, 30 is good for the competitive uh, aspect. Alrighty so basically for Lee basically what you want to do is this is the full tilt so as you can see the full tilt connects now they, uh, they patched this a little while back in last year does a decent amount of damage it's okay just over like over a grabs amount of damage and um it also does strike back if you have another character with strike back on the team as well um or if you have strike back active yourself if i turn it on so if i turn on the storm gauge and get strike back active for rock lee here we should be able to switch to a different character, so like Eno at this point, and he should be able to knock him back for you. And then you can follow up with literally like whatever whatever tech you want. And then yeah, just continue continue your combos. Basically, it's a nice little opener. Strike back is always great. And that's another thing that I like about Rock Lee. He is a strike back character. So whenever there is a knockback opportunity, Lee is always there to, you know. Uh, make combo uh, opportunities and max damage opportunities a possibility. Right, let's go back into his tilt again. So his tilt, there's actually a, a major stun at the end of the tilt um, where you can do like literally anything. Um, basically, it's a button lock stun, so it works like this. Switch here as he jumps up into the air. As you can see, she stands still for a little bit. Now, I'm going to use Eno as a demonstration because Eno has literally one of the longest startups, startups on her ultimate. Um, but you can see here, when I do this, it's enough stun. I mean, she's still in like the staggering animation, for, like, you know, like so. It really just goes to show. As you can see, still it's like she stands nice and still. So yeah, you can land an ultimate. Like land an ultimate if you think like the opponent's subs are about to come back. Like if you see the subs are just coming back, or if it's just like one or two hits away from coming back, use that if you want to really maximize the, the life lead you have. Or if you have room for more damage, just go into your next characters and start doing more with your next characters. You know, just do literally whatever else the, the block is on. So all of this is like confirmed and then go into whatever else like combos you have. So that's basically Lee's tilt in a nutshell. I can also show you what it does for guard pressure. For, so if you do get guard pressure with it, it'll be something like this. Just do something like that. Um, you know, doing the switch into the kunai usually helps. But uh, make sure you're actually switching at like the right time. And then that is like some pressure. It doesn't always work. I didn't always try it. If I if I do a tilt in the neutral and I see they block it, I do a few of those and then I back out uh, with a new character. Uh, you know, just just something a way to keep you safe. But yeah, like I said, if you do get the hit confirm the tilt, say thank you CC2, and then continue with whatever you want to do from there. And then happy days. All right, I'm gonna switch this back in 60, and I will continue with the rest of the guide. <laughs> As you can see, we have the game in back in beautiful, smooth 60 FPS, and I will showcase that the tilt does not work in 60 FPS. Uh, if you take a look right here, I'm even mashing circle to help it. Nothing. I'll even just push circle once. Still doesn't work. Tilt ain't working in 60. Man, do I hate 60 FPS. <laughs> 
Oh, I'm still playing it, but it's just, I think, like, it just disables a lot of stuff that shouldn't be disabled. Alrighty, anyways, so, let's get on to the rest of Lee. So, like I said, I don't really have much for Lee, but let's get into his combos. So, his combos. He's got his neutral combo. It's pretty standard. He's got no opportunity for infinite anywhere. It's all very short stun, similar to Eno, short stun, straight to the point. And if you have another strike back character on the team, this neutral combo is looking to strike back for you. And then, okay, so my two favorite combos are his down combo and his up combo. And this will probably be like the lengthiest part of the video because uh, his down combo and up combo are the best. So the reason why I like his down combo is because he's got a, he's got an infinite. So you've got an infinite here. And if you, if you didn't press anything, that happens, but I'll, I'll get to that in a second. But yeah, infinite right here. So now I'm going to turn the block on uh, for this part. You can do it just by jumping. Obviously, armor break can ruin it. So just hope an armor break doesn't happen. There you go. You can even do a, a tag with it. And of course, you can do your speed pill or even attack pill if you do have one. And then you can cancel into ultimate, but I think I just did a rev cancel right there. Oh, that wasn't a rev cancel, that was a standard, uh, normal UJ cancel. Alright, cool. You can just tell by the damage. Um, but yeah, I'll try and jump out the combo a little more so you can see it. There you go. I did jump out the combo there, it's just I do it very quickly. See, the thing is, with Lee, you, you need to jump out your combos quickly. If you jump out too far, he will, uh, he will whiff it, or, you know, the opponent will block it. So there you go. There, there's more of an example of, like, jumping out, but, like, you can't jump out too far. You've got to be quick with the, with the jumping out. So let me demonstrate a bad example for you. There you go, that's a very bad example. And then obviously you should be able to do the Team UJ as well. Yeah, you can just about get it in there. Uh, so yeah, there's that. So really cool. Um, and obviously you can use it for extended combo. So, you know, just do this. Or do that. <laughs> but what I was going to do was the down combo. You jump. Combo into the next character. You know, if you have opportunity for more damage. And then um, what else you can do with the down combo is the little bit you've seen at the end. So at the end, he actually has two down combo finishers. So if you keep mashing the down combo, keep mashing circle, as you can see he does a finisher where he just slams him down onto the ground. Now if you don't, he actually has a different finisher where the animation is near enough the same, but he bounces them off the ground. And then you can continue another combo. Like so. Um, so what I do in this situation is because of the damage, I would do this. Walk forward a little bit into a neutral combo. And then just hit him into a neutral combo. He falls back into the combo nicely. Or if you want to try and continue it a little bit more, you can probably try the up combo and do something a little bit like this. But they can block, so it can be a little messy. Um, but yeah, what I usually do is neutral. Or another thing that I started doing is this. You can actually confirm a UJ off of that. Uh, so if you just do what I so if you look at the controller uh, when I do it, what I do is I just start uh, doing the ultimate, uh, you know, I, I flare my ultimate chakra and I just start mashing circle. I even walk towards the enemy, like I tilt my analog stick to where the enemy is just for a little bit of help. I think you can do it without doing that. But yeah, literally you just want to mass circle as soon as it is, and then he goes straight into the ultimate. So you want to just flare the ultimate chakra. So flare your chakra. And then you just want to like do it. But yeah, it's got to be very timing. So you want to flare your chakra at the right time and then you just want to literally just mash the hell out of your circle button or B button. Um, and then another showcase I can show is you can actually confirm a max damage from this with the um, defense down tag. still got the defense down tag in there and it's amazing because it's perfect so like when you come out of it you see it disappears <laughs> so you know you just got all the damage in at the right moment so that's like a max damage like combo to uj thing with lee it's a full down combo into uj which is really cool you can't say that a lot of characters have that um so it's really cool and then let's go into his up combo so his up combo is probably his one of his best tools for guard pressure um because you can do this 
Now that's amazing. That is probably Lee is probably one of the best combo pressure people in the game because of that. Like he is probably a combo pressure god because of this. So switch there. So when he does his first kick, and then before he does, as he do, goes onto his hands for the handstand, switch then. So you want to switch. Oh, let me re restart um, Keenan Murray's block. So you want to switch about there, and then you go into your next character, do some nice stuff with Eno. Open him up. Oh look, opened up for a combo. We can now do the down combo into UJ. Um, so that's like one thing you can do. And then it also works uh, on an open opponent as well. So when the opponent's open or being comboed, get the extended stun. You can stand there, do what you want. I'll demonstrate it again. Um, if you had an attack up pill for whatever reason, you know, equip that. <laughs> you know, the possibilities are actually endless with it. You know, you know, you can do that, and then oh, she takes too long. But basically, with another character, you can at um, equip an attack pill, and then land it on. But yeah, this is your best friend. Like this is amazing. So definitely use that on an open opponent, and always switch to that point. This is why we love Lee's, Lee's up combo. Another cool thing is like it's like a funny thing that kind of like weirds out your opponent. But one thing I like to do on purpose is I do the up combo. And I jump twice. Look at the amount of height you get. You get so high because he ends the up combo so high in the air, right? So <laughs> you know, it's just like a it's just like a funny thing to do. It doesn't really give you a lot of advantage. It just I guess like for like the mental game, it just kinda like wears out your opponent. Lee's first hit got good range, you know, from very far. You can land this first hit. He extends his leg out very far. This means that when you're doing something like this, you can chuckle dash. And pressure like that, and nine, my nine times out of ten, your opponent won't really be able to, um, uh, to you know, do anything. Um, so yeah, a good combo like Shikamaru's combo like this, out combo, you know, something like that opens up the opponent for you. So yeah, be sure to always do that chakra dash. And then go into Lee. Lee will most likely connect. I think you can do it with Eno as well. So if I do like Eno's down combo, for example. Oh, I can't do the down combo block anymore, can I? Oh, no, just do. Yeah, it, like Lee works very similar to Pain in terms of that. Like what people do is that they combo the block. And then they just like chuck a dash and then the switch like that. And then Lee will just like basically just mash and like connect on the right frames. Um, so Lee is always good for that. And I hate how the tilt cannot connect in 60 FPS. <laughs> so let me go into his air combo. So his air combo has an infinite or even a couple of infinites actually. Um, so you have an infinite here. So his famous one is doing it here. So you do three circle hits. One, two, and three. One, two, three. So people actually believe it's two. It's not two circle hits. So like this is so this is one, that's one, and this is two. And you can tell because if you look at the controller when I'm doing it, you see that I'm only inputting it twice. Uh, so this is three circles. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then you can actually just chain this over and over and over again. This is an infinite. Make sure that you're precise in catching them. You can even equip a, a pill. So say you've got an attack pill. You now do that. And then you can even land an ultimate. If your thumb doesn't go lazy like mine did. <laughs> but yeah, you know, just do this. And then land a free Oma Jitsu as well. And then, yeah, you can just do something like this. Going to the next character or whatever, like Ina, and then you know you you can always go back into it. Like with Lee, some people just do it from the combo. Let like you do this. Put a couple of these in. Nice damage. And as it finishes falling, get landed with an auto jitsu, and then you're looking at very big damage. And then let's go into his jitsu. So his jitsu is okay. Um, well, actually, it's not very good. It takes too much chakra than what it's worth, as you can see. That is too much chakra for a jitsu. Uh, turns out it's actually always taken that much. Um, his ultimate jitsu takes less chakra. 
Like, that just annoys me. So, whenever using his Jutsu, we don't really use it much. If you're going to use it, use it in form of a switch tech. Because if you use it in form of a switch tech, you uh, you get the chakra back, as you can see. Actually, let me uh, let me put the chakra to... Oh, it is on normal. Okay, good. Uh, just making sure. Yeah, okay, it is on normal. It can't be cancelled, so I'm block as you can see, I'm spamming the block. If you look on screen, I'm spamming block. This, this cannot be cancelled. I know I didn't have chakra there, but... Um, <clears throat> if I build it back up for you, all the way to the top, this is not a cancelable, um, you know, move with Lee. One thing I like to do with Lee is actually, um, if I, if I chakra dash a guarding opponent and I get a confirmed, uh, dash on a blocking opponent, I like to follow up with a jutsu and looking like this. It's straight to the, it's straight to the point, straight, um, you know, straight onto their thing and it puts them in red guard as well. So I'll show you the case out one more time. <coughs> so... Chakra dash straight into the thingy. And then with the right character, you can get a guard break. Open him up for a nice combo like that. That's like, that's pretty much like Lee's Jitsu. I didn't really have much else to say. But yeah, like you could just like switch tech it on, on there. So like, <clears throat> instead of doing it without it, just switch tech it. So if you need to know how to do a switch tech be sure to look at my switch tech tutorials if you're watching this and you don't know how to do you don't know how to like do this where you can save the chakra you see how the chakra is like he, he goes back up you want to look at the tutorial i have on the channel for that but basically um when you are comboing or when you're pressuring an opponent's block switch check it and then you can continue with your pressure it's like a mind game thing you know the quicker you munch down someone's block and to pressure them uh the more they get scared the more they get shaken and stuff like that so it's really good for that as well um okay so i'll go into the grab but there's not really much about the grab i don't like it um so that's what it is uh the thing is is like there aren't really any good setups with it like it just floors them and not only that but the, st the setup just takes a long time and not only that, but you'll find that he will actually miss sometimes. Like, obviously, he's, you know, I'm hitting it now because, um, because, you know, he is a standing still opponent. But a lot of the times, you'll just find that, you know, it, he can actually just, like, whiff um, a lot of the time. I recommend not using the grab, you know, even if you think, like, you're safe to do so. I wouldn't recommend doing it. You know, if you miss, just just, just switch. That's what I do. I sometimes try to throw it out because it is satisfying every time you do hit these grab. But yeah, you see, you do shit like that, you just miss, and it's just not fun. Not good at all. So I guess we can look at his awakening. Um, his awakening re won't really take long to do, because, um, again, it's just, with, with his awakening, it's basically, um, it's just the same moveset, it's just a few things are different. So his awakening, you know, it's good for, like, tricking out your opponent and, like, chasing them. So if your opponent runs away, Lee, as you can tell, he's got very good speed. Um, so you don't have to worry about, you know, anyone running away from you. Lee has got, the, you know, the very good speed. But as you can see, his combos still work the same way. Um, you know, you can still get the same infinites off. And you can still perform the same stuff. One thing that you can do with Lee is what I do with him is that I actually use his awakening actions as a way to do infinite loops. Um, the reason why I use his awakening actions as infinite loops is because um, they actually his awakening actions button lock the opponent. I don't know why I bother doing that. Um, so I'll show you now. So if say you get like a nice combo like this, do something like that. You can get this off. The opponent stands still for you and they can't block, they can't stop, they can't do anything. And then you can land the next thing. And obviously you can see I did a full down combo right there. Into that. Stand still again. And you can just keep going. You can literally just keep doing this until it ends. Wait as long as you need to, obviously not too long. Because I'll show you what happens if you wait too long. If you wait too long, obviously the block, like, here, here's like a gauge to see like how long it takes. So yeah, you see it doesn't take too long for him to block, but you do have enough time to loop this back over and over again. If you're in the neutral game with, with Lee, uh, like this, I recommend just like, just doing stuff like that, you know. Um, and then pressure with this. Or what you should have done there is just pressure with this. And then just do something like that. You can even throw a shuriken, they're still going to be stunned, like, it is really cool.
Um, but yeah, like he's it, pretty much still the same. Uh, his jutsu is okay because it hits a, like a very long range. So like, as you can see, he's pretty good. Then just dash up and then correct the spacing between you. Get max damage down combo into this. Hit him out of it. Boom. Very nice. And then you can even do something like that. Hit him with it. You know, just do like whatever. Uh, you know, the awakening is very good for that. It's very good for like chasing and scaring your opponent or whatever. Um, you know, what some people might do is, you know, something like that. And then, yeah, you can go into it. But yeah, that is pretty much everything with Rock Lee. Like, that is, that's it, you know? Like, that's literally it. Um, his Jutsu and his Awakening doesn't take anywhere near as the Jutsu as it takes and it's a non-Awakening. Uh, but yeah, but that is basically Rock Lee in the nutshell. In the neutral game, you just want to be aware of his of his combo pressure, his range. The range is what makes him good. Obviously, he's got, like, speed. Like, the speed is okay. But what makes him good is his range, you know? Like, he, he can, like, mash from, like, a good range. And, um... Pressure of the tilt, obviously. And uh, yeah, you can just do something with this. And Lee is a very helpful character. He's good as like a supporting character and a main character. As you can see, this is very helpful. We get the get the opponents blocked down pretty quickly. Yes, that is our hot-blooded youth, Rock Lee. If you have any questions, be sure to ask them down in the comments. But that is pretty much the most in-depth I can be with Rock Lee. Um, you know, that's just what you can do. Um, with his down combo, if you want, you can like practice like different paths for combos and stuff. Like you can just do this, into this, into that, and then go into his UJ or something. You know, you can do something like that. Do whatever you want. Uh, but that is Rock Lee. Uh, yeah, again, if you have any questions or anything, please be sure to ask them in the comment section below. And as always, it's been your boy Poison Akami. Matane.